Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the divisibility rules of numbers 2 through 10. Let's get started with 2. A number is divisible by 2, well, any even number, or a number ending in 0 is divisible by 2. Take a look at these two numbers, 356 and 52. They are both divisible by 2 because they both end in even numbers. Next, we have the number 3. The rule for number 3 is any number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So let's look at an example. 156. Add 1 plus 5 plus 6, and that equals 12. 12 is divisible by 3, and that equals 4. So 156 is divisible by 3. Next, number 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits form a number divisible by 4. So let's look at an example. We have 3532, 3532. Last two digits are 32, which is divisible by 4. Therefore, 3532 is divisible by 4. Let's look at number 5. 5 is fairly straightforward. Any number is divisible by 5, it ends in 0 or 5. And here are two examples, 650 and 125. Notice they end in 0 and 5. Next, we have 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and 3. So let's look at 606. First, it ends in an even number, so it's divisible by 2. And then if I add the digits, for the number 3, 6 plus 0 plus 6, that equals 12, and that is divisible by 3, therefore 606 I know is divisible by 6. Next we have the 7s. A number is divisible by 7 if you take the last number and double it, then subtract this number from the remaining number, and if this number is divisible by 7 or is 0, the entire number. Let's look at that. Take 196, the last digit is 6, I will double it. I, the remaining number is 19, 19 minus 6 is 7, 7 is divisible by 7, therefore 196 is divisible by 7. Up next is 8, the last three digits of a whole number are divisible by 8, then the entire number is divisible by 8. It's not my favorite rule. For example, let's look at 3600. Last three digits are 600, and I know 600 divided by 8 is 75, therefore 3600 is divisible by 8. Let's look at nines. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. For example, you have 297. 2 plus 9 plus 7 is 18. I know 18 is divisible by 9, therefore 297. And the last one is 10, and it's probably the easiest one. A number is divisible by 10 if the number um, ends in a zero. So let's look at this example. 350 ends in a zero, so it's divisible by 10. So there we go, the divisibility rules of 2 through 10. I hope that helps. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.